My master... <laughs> safe. The scriptures... sound. All I ever wanted was a life in my mountain, free from you and your so-called merits. Those high above don't trust me. I understand that. And they send you and those knuckleheads to threaten me. To obey and serve once more. <laughs> I understand that too. But what I don't understand is... You bastards killing my kind! not just any monkey. He's a monkey of merit. A monkey was made Buddha once. None other than me can challenge him to a duel. Look, monkey. I don't make a habit of fighting someone I've bested before. Here's my offer. If you lose, I'll take you to the Celestial Court. They will stay and level your mountain. But if I lose, I shall certainly take revenge, and they will level your mountain nonetheless. Hmm. How tragic would that be, huh? You are one of the court. We don't need to resort to violence. How about you bend the knees, admit the wrongs, and we can put this behind us? <laughs> All these years, except for that pig, you're the one who talks the tallest tales. Good, I am entertained. Speaking of entertainment, wouldn't it be fun if I pluck your extra eye out for my snack and allow you to keep the other two? Because I'd hate to let you miss how I'll slaughter each mongrel of the court. Those below, those above, and that black mutt of yours. Come at me, all of you. They gave you. Oh! Yes! 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 
burned each one. Such ingratitude. <laughs> <laughs> Fighting Buddha, have you any idea how many would give their everything for immortality? Immortality? <laughs> for that word, all realms and beings have ruined themselves. Court welcomes you, foul monkey, yet you remain untamed. None shall save you now. <laughs> Dear brother, your edge needs homing. Good. I was in need of a back scratcher. <laughs>
And so ends the last tale of Sun Wukong. A hero who treasured his freedom above all else. Buddhahood he attained, yes, but cumbersome he found the celestial rules, for he yearned to come back and to revel in the simple joys with us. Little did he know, his choice to forgo the life above only fueled their mistrust. <sighs> this stone has stood for countless days on the mountain. Since my youth, they've said that his remains lie within it. <clears throat> Unbegotten, undying, such is the nature of a stone monkey. Though his body was broken, his spirit endures. Into six relics he turned, and separately they escaped, choosing to stay hidden. Those are the six senses of the great sage. Yet no one has ever seen them, not in centuries. I'm old now. Venture through all the lands, I cannot. Yet among you, there might be one who is destined. One that shall recover all his scattered relics. And upon the return of the relics to Mount Tuaguo, he may yet rise again. On the gold bend, the toll life of human or for gold. Nowhere better than a home. We to death and ever grow. Huh? Here, yeah. you see what bliss my fate well, shows. Well, <laughs> luck's around the corner. Seems like you just fell from a oh, fruit yes. tree here. Perfect timing. This peach knew I needed a snack. You sneaky rascal! Dad, fool me! I'll make sure you regret it! Oh! <laughs> 
King is fully prescient. Someone did so up after all. for pluck your hair and make an offer. Hey, hey, wait! I, the Keeper of Black Wind Mountain, have long been waiting for your arrival. A spitting image, I'd say. Up ahead is Guan Yin Temple. Once it was bustling with worshippers, before it was ruined by that fire. Ah. Then. The temple was rebuilt. Oh, what good is it to rebuild a temple if the goodwill of men has been burnt to ashes? Oh. You've forgotten this place, but they haven't forgotten you. Oh. That's a tough one. Good luck to you!
Oh. It's been a while, but the immobilized spell still works like a charm. <laughs> Since you hail from Mount Huaguo, it won't hurt to teach you a handy trick. Now, here we go. Give me your hand. There you go. Should you come across any miscreants, just point your finger at them and release this spell. You'll be able to hold them in place while giving yourself a breather. Sadly, mine is but a humble trick. Its power will wear off within a few short moments. Though it's good enough against boneheads like this one, Anyway, just consider it an ace up your sleeve. No! The young boys these days know no manners! Fear not. Teach them a lesson with your new spell!
Mighty King's got serious power.
Wait! You don't think you can just parade in, do you? It's not that simple. Let me transform you into a golden cicada, so you may follow the fires ahead and scout this mountain unnoticed. Fly! <laughs> It might be humble, but my shrine is very versatile. You'll get it soon. In the depths of Black Wind Mountain, there are secrets galore. The cicada form may help you explore, but be wary. This form does not last forever. Should you find yourself lost, just follow my voice. Now, off you go. Eh, a few jars of wine. Mm, wonder if there's anything left inside.
Report to Lord Lacey quickly. The monkey is here. How dare you? Hmm, another monkey I see. Why don't you lay down your weapon and join me in goodness mercy? What say you?
You just had to make some noise, did you? Now everyone knows you're here. When a chime so grand echoes in the forest, Yao Guais will surely be alarmed.
is Blackwind Wise ally calls itself Link Schutzer. Considering your strength, I suggest you oh, get away while you can, little monkey. Once you pass that gate, there's no turning back!
Now that it's dead, you might as well take a good look around. A great pill, the Black Wind Guai, gifted the wolf. Fight would be a deserving reward for that fight. Noble blood doesn't prey on travelers like you. Thank you. 
You don't look like a Yalgwai from these parts. Have you come to earn the Blackwind King's favor? Ah, uh, hear me. That bear is but a hollow shell. He can grant you nothing. Don't waste your time on him. He lies about cheating death and even the treasures. His followers are, all of them, deceived. Blackwing Gwai is a sly one. He preaches virtue with a heart full of greed. I wouldn't entrust him with my plea. I don't know why you are here, but you should be vigilant. Now I'm pressed for time. Fare thee well, then. I don't know why you are here. Now, I'm...
long. Have you seen those nameless souls adrift on your path? Their wills float aloft, never to fade. Shame, your god serves little purpose, and mine answers solely to me. Hmm. I know a way to guide the souls, mend their paths, and set them free. It will aid you. This is better. This gourd, though humble, may save the lost, banish their obsessions, and guide them. For one is destined as you. There can be no turning back. We are like tumbleweeds, drifting through life with a destiny beyond our grasp. Fair sights fade, but with ink I bid them stay. The road has claimed you. Now you must see it through. Your heart will guide you further. We shall meet again. Fair sights fade. The road has clean. Your heart will guide you.
This humble one's name is Guangmo. Should my demise come by your hands, please pass this message to my master. Searching for deity, mortals do aspire. Craving immortality, Yao Guai's surely will conspire! <laughs> Abetted Elder Jita to burn the great sage and tongue monk alive. That's these two. I thought they were already turned into ashes by that fire. Who would have thought they had turned into Yaoguais? I have. 
an ominous feeling. After the bell rang, it seems as though the resentment in the depths of the mountain has grown. Ah, oh, forget it. Overthinking won't help. Your presence has already made a mess in the mountain. Why not go ahead and take them out once and for all? <laughs> These snake glies are nothing to fear. Snake gall steeped in drink, though, makes a fine tonic to flush malady. Here, here, young friend. Be my guest inside.
<laughs> well, well. I'd stake your one more monkey from Mount Huaguo. <sighs> I've met many of you. <laughs> the rank of birth, you all ought to call me forefather. Something... Remember, young friend. Makes one tipsy, many sips make hammers. <laughs> Bird, hailed bird, what dimmed your shine? Past grip beyond our grasp, the future we may still clasp. Late is the hour, young one, in which you choose to stain my tranquil abode. Pray tell. To what end do you seek? Yet it ain't gone, fool. Now you shall face what I truly
No ill will, I bear. I'm merely my brother's eyes and ears. I feign my loyalty to guard this path on the bear's order. Your destiny's bleak and stark. In its grip, we share the mark. The Guanyin Temple now lies in cinders. Did the Elder Soul endure? The root of greed ever fosters the stem of suffering. <sighs> that has to forget the thing you truly seek. The three bells. Have you seen them all? Do you too desire that which they ceaselessly hold dear? The bells. Three bells were set in the mountains since the Black Wind Choir's return, yet no one is allowed to go near them. Maybe the bells have something to do with the temple's burning. His words sound like truth to me, little monkey. Stay sharp and keep a lookout.
Thank Mitrava. Oh, finally then, the three bells sang. Disciples come, I hear travelers approaching my temple carrying new treasures. I cannot see you, but I recognize your odor. Messiah! Now give it Fireproof mantle. The great sage borrowed it from Virapaksa. 
How did it end up here? You must have freed that miserable soul. Oh, such is his end. A tragedy prologue by a super clown. It's getting late. Let's hurry up the mountain.
Five hundred years. I have rebuilt the temple. Now it's grander in scope. All those monks consumed by the fire turn to wandering ghosts roaming in Black Wind Mountain. It was I who granted them eternal repose. I have even restored the charred scriptures piece by piece. <laughs> but oh yes, I always knew. One day you shall return! Some cheap tricks! Meet me at the summit if you dare! <laughs> the spell he just cast may appear intricate, but it's not hard to learn. That Black Bear's expertise is lacking. Serving Guan Yin didn't help him much. But what he left here could surely help us. Consider today your lucky day. <laughs> to learn, but give yourself the time you need.
Dew drops, honey brew, sheep. Age enriches the brew, and the two both cloud our mind. Remember, young friend, a sip makes one tipsy.
promise to reward whoever kills the He once told me, out of sight, out of mind is a fool's task. Seeing but seeing through is what wise men do. But didn't he turn mad by what he saw too? <laughs> Oh, 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 
pardon me, young sage, mercy, young sage, have mercy. I was just a pawn of the celestial court. If given a choice, who dare to challenge the mighty wrecker of the celestial palace? His words ring true. No matter how daring he was, he had not the nerve to harm the great sage. There must be someone else pulling all the strings. Exactly, and this thing is eerie. I had no idea how to make use of its power. Except to enshrine it up there, tricking lesser Yaoguais into offerings. If you pardon me, I'll go back to Guan Yin to atone for my actions and be put back on the engaging band. You will never see me out there anymore. Oh, ignore his nonsense. Go now, little monkey. Go and retrieve the great sage's relic.卷起千般缘，色与空，弹指间。轮回路，有万次千，求不得。闭上眼，一生功名忙如烟，浮沉落花断不。究竟寻常事，有情书不愿。
Master, it still puzzles me. A monk's lust for gold should be quelled. Why does Elder Jinche still cling to that one Kasaya? Hmm. Bereft of that Kasaya. How shall they show the world their ties are cut and their lust is quelled? Across streams, over hills, and through the black wind your blood has spilled. Wolves howl, snakes wind, flames lick, and the smoke blinds. Stumble on the lesser, lame, crash before their betters, shame. With such clumsiness, what destiny do you claim? As the small fish catches its prey, the bigger lurks behind. Who is the bigger fish? I can't see it. As for the prey and the small fish, <laughs> they are swimming everywhere. In his last life, the monk was Jin Chanzu, the second disciple to Buddha in the West. Yet his arrogance led him to disregard the Dharma teachings, and as a result, the Buddha cast him down to the mortal realm. He was destined to face 81 trials throughout his journey. The fire for that Kasaya was merely the eleventh. A fine guardian for Guan Yin he could have been, yet he came back here to daydream immortality. Sadly, he had the greed, but lacked the pluck. He could fool his followers, but not himself. His destiny was sealed the moment he donned that band. A mere human, blessed with a lifespan nearing three centuries, yet he was never sated. He just had to seize that one Kasaya. Centuries of devotion undone by a moment's greed. In the end, a lost soul became him. How pathetic.
扶老弟，一招书坏，凭哭泣，不夜照起妙人计。为非作歹有铁臂，修得大手结福利，媳妇一死也就齐。哪知不测喜祸，岂担心那黄毛孽畜再回去？凶犯不死好得意，不修后死却成谜。Can I get an idea why you have come here, my friend? Haste makes waste. <laughs> I'll lend you a hand. Watch your step, eh? Get more shots, and you'll be high and dry.
Oh, you come at a good moment. One of my formulas was swallowed by a petty frog. Stay and help. A deity like myself will not short you. Oh, how wondrous! You cool. Man follows earth, earth follows sky, sky follows Tao, Tao follows nature. <laughs> These common pills, I grant you. Hereafter, you may craft more yourself at the shrines. I must retrieve a furnace forthwith. Pray forgive my departure.
Going to get that will be your doom. I not know your sufferings. But before our master returns from the valley, we've got to tough it out. Tough it out to survive. The lads went out to see the altar the other day. Said it's stinking worse than ever. And covered in bones. Not from men or livestock, but littered in the remains of our kin. Curse that Furry jackass! Ooh, just wait. wait until Master hears about this! Hush! Hush, you fool! Our restoration, we can't say it out loud now! Oh, your poor brother and... Delivering itself all the way to this dump for our lunch! 
A duel in the corner! My kind of sport!
Go! Leave! I don't need your help. <laughs> Fate binds us, sir. From the Black Wind Mountain to here, we meet again. Those rats. They tied me up on sight for no reason. Joking, they prepare me for their king's table. Uh, this place crawls with Yaogwai's eager for a bite. But don't worry. If they bite into me, they'll bite more than they can chew. This place is a jumble of rats and cats, all at each other's throats. And the Yellow Wind Sage keeps silent. How odd. Who would swear fealty to such a king? Let's make haste and go. Never linger at a peril such as this. Just leave. These rats are no match for me. I can make my own way out. You are a skinny one, but these rats aren't picky eaters. Flee. The quicker the better. I won't die here with my task undone. There are too many eyes around here. We'll meet again if fate wills it. This place is a jumble of rats and cats, all at each other's throats. And the Yellow Wind Sage keeps silent. How odd. Who would swear fealty to such a king? Let's make haste and go. Never linger at a peril such as this. Just leave. These rats are no match for me. I can make my own way out. This place is a and the Yellow Wind Let's make haste and go.
Stubborn true is my foresight. A grim one. <laughs> Them two heads lay eyes on us. We're both done for. Our misfortune back home has led us to exile. We'd hoped to rebuild with the Rat Sage's guidance, but... But I saw that vanguard of his feasting upon... Our king has lost his way. Escape was the only choice. The two heads are the best fighters. And now, they are hunters of their own kin. We'll starve hiding here! Let's get out and get this over with! Why are you still here? Don't put me in danger! Be off! Patience there! Patience! We dash out! I'll cut them two heads at a time, kin or not! Patience there! We dash out! and slaying kin. <laughs> now that you have rid me of them, it's time for me to go. With a blinded king, we can never rise again. We must find the missing prince. The third prince? But he's against rats, remember? Look at us now. He won't even recognize us. Not one bit. The king honored rats. That's why the third prince left. Some claim to have seen him far away. Somewhere in Buddha's realm in the west. 
We must find it then. But where? And how? The king honored rats. That's why the third print. Some claim to have. We must find it then. But where?
Hell. What's the hold up this time? Soak your offerings and don't breed more rats. If you dare to muck up the king's practice again, I'll serve your dimwit full up for supper. Myself. Ain't ye that old loser? Where'd you come from? Your fur faced mug. <laughs> Who cares anyway? I'll gobble you up first.
铁骑士却无力，大蛇铁婆遭虎欺。巧刀姐姐慌不避，时候死你不死你。This body of yours is perfect for the art of rock solid.
minds yearn to ascend, yet fame still holds sway. Their glory fades through time, in tombs of somber gray.
That has got me trapped on this rock with a spell. Even the rocks on the ridge have come to life. In that cave, there's a rock guai lurking, holding secrets, I bet. Should you uncover the reason, I shall find my way out. Rocks turning into guais, just no small matter. Gullible <laughs> one. <laughs> I finally got my hands on the treasure! Why are you still here, eh? You ain't expecting us back, are you? Shameful! Be gone, you greedy inept wretch! Get lost, you disgrace! Get lost, you disgrace! <laughs> Treasure, are you? You wicked twerp. But I, I can't be all with you free. That lady Easy there. I'll need a bit of time to get re-
only sell rare fine wares. I'd be selling it to no one if it wasn't for you. Of a right fine bargain. Yeah. Yeah, you got yourself a right fine bargain. Yeah. We could he's catch your eye. For oh, what did he? Must his head be hung for all of this? For what did he? Has the waters and guns there in the For what did he? Must all matters not known how to be? For what did he? Must mercy is grown so woe upon you? Oh my God!
faith and devotion. Quite the notion. Yet how many can claim a mind so pure, still, and sure? Look at you. Through the heavy snow you roll. Desiring that thing, no doubt. I read your fortune before you came. Care to hear? Act not and be still. Thy gifts art thy ill. If you seek your own end, I shall not stop you. I, the keeper of the new west, welcome the destined one. Now fly! On the lake? Therein lies the thing you seek. The lord of this land is away. Seize it now and leave.
Cause your scent. When that monkey was alive, he was all about weeping and begging for help. Now, even in death, he led all you younglings right to me. This sack of mine can barely fit you all. <laughs> Kung Jing Long. Now that you are ready, go and weigh up this one for your master.
<laughs> you have chosen your way. This time, there will be no easy way out.
Lord Lao, illuminate your path, brave one. Uncover the secrets of sky and earth. Come out to craft pill. From yin and yang.
and an old way. Oh, I couldn't be happier. Join me. Snow is the best soil for poetry. <laughs> My friend, sit with me a while. Dark-furred, devious-natured, 
Hunting that guai is no simple task. You do have some skills, but this land bites with cold. Lack of readiness could be your undoing. Our reunion is destined. And so is my role to teach you this little trick. Ah, I am extraordinary, as is my flame. It shall help you in need. Need injury, weariness, or frostbite. Beast or Yaogwai, none shall dare to draw nigh. to joining me. Oh, I don't deserve you. That old bastard has really made good use of Wukong's relic. Even you let the courtier bend to his will. Yet my ears tell me that the destined one has got the money will. Pity. Reckon it won't be your master who unlocks these metals eventually. These gold symbols are made by our grand master. And you think a puny monkey can go beyond that? No, he's here below. Turtle? Snake? Who cares? I caught a whiff of monkey scent familiar enough for me to sound by welcome. Master valued your talents. He kept you alive beneath the pagoda for your own good. How ungrateful. Evidently, you just don't deserve the ecstasy of the new West. Die. Changed 
These are set in their ways. Still, though, you'll never crack the gold symbol. So long, constipation. I was nearly caught alive in there. Move it. <laughs> Blood. 
bastard I saw wasn't even worth my second glance back in the court. Ah, the same look again. A furry coat and a pinched face. Luck's all you've got. Great, another mute. Whatever. It's not Dally. Now the turtle and I have shared a few tales.